Equité. Yeah, um, he don't poly, young type, he too short. Jackety is a great lesson idea because it turns the whole concept into learning instructions into a game and the children just love it. We're going to start this morning playing as Simon Says. Okay, we're going to start playing as Jackety. Jackety Equité. Jacquardy is just the French version of Simon Says. So when I say Jacquardy and I say the word, you do the action. But what if I don't say Jacquardy? You don't um, do it. The French assistant tells children when they're out. Perdu. You get all the oohs and the ahs because they've lost and it turns into a bit of competition as well. Games actually fun and very educational because you can learn new French words that you don't already know. If marche vite is walk quick, marche lentement. Walk slow. Walk slowly, it's a slow motion. <laughs> Definitely been built up over time. To begin with, the children just learnt the instructions regarding equity and sit down, stand up. And once they kind of got the hang of that, we just threw some more words into there to kind of make it a little bit harder. Marche means walk. Jacquardy. Pore when you run. Jacquardy. Sauter means jump. And cross le bois. Jacquardy. Marche vite when you walk fast. I cannot say, for the life of me, how many times I try to say it. Tiptoe in French. Marcher sur la pointe des pieds means tiptoe. To overcome my pronunciation issues, I do rely quite a lot on our French assistant to help me. You're out, and Mademoiselle will say. Perdu. Perdu. French is very difficult because you have, we have so many letters that we don't pronounce. But once they, they've learned it the right way, they won't forget about it. Jacques écouté, regardez. Do you feel like that, like Dale Boy sometimes are doing the um, Dagnan version of French? Jacques dit sauté. I would usually help with the pronunciation and with um, the grammar rules and the things which are hard to get in French. The children love it, they, they really do. It's a competition more than anything else as well and they kind of, they tell one another when they've got it wrong because I can't always see all 25 doing the actions. I think it will be better to stand up and, and do it because you can use up some of your energy to, instead of just sitting there writing things. I like learning French because it's good and you get to speak, you get to know other language, not just English. Say you went to France and you always speak English, they won't understand you and you won't understand them. Jacques de Ecouté. I got a winner! <laughs> Au revoir. Ia Umpi is a great lesson idea for sentence construction. It gets the children up, dancing, singing, making fools of themselves, and it brings home sentence construction in French. Bonjour. Bonjour tout le monde. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Revision. Ia Umpi. Levez-vous. We then sang through the song Ia uh, Umpi, which is repeated and repeated and repeated gets quicker and quicker. It's about a magpie in a pear tree singing. The first line of the song we have been learning is Ya Umpi Domploye. It means a magpie in a pear tree. Ya umpi don polye, jante piti chante. Ya umpi don polye, jante piti chante. The children really love it. They enjoy the actions, the singing, the dancing, and the actual construction of the song and the repetition then brings you on to recognising the nouns and the verbs in the adverb of place. The children can identify them. They can see how in French, sometimes the construction of sentences is different to ours. Très bien. Merci. We revise the adverbs, nouns and verbs. Dans ma chambre, il y a une vache qui saute. Qui Pardon. Qui sort? We're a bit of a double act. I tend to leave the lesson and then Junior will actually pull me up on my pronunciation or if I've got if 
it should be a masculine noun instead of a feminine noun. And she, she helps the children if they're unsure, I'm unsure, I feel confident enough to be able to ask her how to pronounce something. Un chat, un chat, pardon. When you try to learn French on your own with books, um, you usually read French the English way. So obviously your pronunciation is really, really wrong and you can't sometimes get understood. But the thing is that when we teach something together, maybe if I say it first, they won't pronounce the D or the T at the end of the word. And that way they would get understood. Un chef. 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 The Ilia, which is this one, came from a training course. That's caterpillar. Dormasac. Up in the pear tree and... Oh yeah, uncha. There's a bunny rabbit. We've got the elephant. We've got that one. And I can't believe I'm doing this. Un chini. Un But the rest of the children have done all the animals and uh, the verbs. and it's, it's just been good fun. Yeah, I do like them because it's fun and at the same time I'm still learning. So. And that will help me remember because I'm still having fun. Yeah, it helps me a lot to remember the words because I get all confused in my actions. I'm watching other people and I learn. Well, in the French sentence, you have to first you have to have the place, then have the animal, and then after that, we just had something that is something that I was doing. Dans la rue, je vois un lapin qui se cache. Très bien. We chose children to come up and select a flashcard to hold it up, and another child had to read out what was on the flashcard adding their own Ilia or je vois or j'entends in between. Opiomi, choisis un verbe, s'il te plaît. Roxy, dis la phrase, s'il te plaît. Dans les fourriers, il y a un chat qui vole. Très bien. It makes a lesson fun. They like the fact that they don't actually do a lot of writing. Um, and it's all about performing and it's their pronunciation and the basics of learning French. Chez moi, Je vois un canard qui saute. Très bien. In English, that means in my house there is a duck jumping. Un chien jaune qui danse. They enjoy it. It's it's different to any other lesson. We move around a bit and do drama and some English, but that's really the only subjects that the children come to the front and act out and make fools of themselves and laugh. Le voir. The French Café is a great lesson idea for French pronunciation and conversation. We're going to be having a bit of a go at acting today. We're going to, we've got a little French Café set up at the back. Um, you're going to be using your whiteboards with um, some phrases that we've been looking at for use in the French Café. Bonjour, je m'appelle Mary. <laughs> what I'll do is I have a group from each table, I think. We introduced how to say I would like, uh, introduced the idea of a waiter. Bonsoir, bonsoir, bonsoir. Gave them a basic food menu. They then had to write down their choices and then we picked group by group to go and act it out at a French restaurant. Bonjour, mademoiselle, monsieur. Qu'est-ce que vous voulez? Pain au chocolat. Je voudrais des croissants et un de orange. Merci. Je voudrais un pain au chocolat et limonade. Merci. Merci. That was really fun. It was like I was in a restaurant. I got this, I think it was pan au chocolat et limonade. I think that, that's what it was. Which is this chocolate thingy <laughs> with lemonade. It was um, quite fun because um, everyone got to come up and order their own thing and the um, waiters, well, they, they were um, quite funny. Cola was the funniest of them all. Bonsoir, bonsoir, bonsoir. Qu'est-ce que vous voulez? Uh, je voudrais un, un croissant et un chocolat chaud, s'il vous plaît. I think the role play works because it gives them some understanding of what they're doing or some reason for why they're doing it. They are acting out. They love acting. They love drama. Merci. Je voudrais un lamade, un croissant, s'il vous plaît. Merci. Je vous ai... The key principle is really the pronunciation, um, which we will work on because it wasn't perfect for all children and I wouldn't expect it to be. Je vous ai une lemonade, un croissant, s'il vous plaît. But I'm trying to get their confidence. 
Once they've got the confidence, I think you can work more on the pronunciation. Messi. I am enjoying it. People say it's hard, but I don't think it's as hard as they say. I think it's medium. Bonjour, Madame, ma Madame Sabret. When we go to the French country, I'll be able to talk better and I should be able to um, retaliate what they're saying. I actually feel quite proud when I see them acting it out. Um, and it's nice to see children actually achieve something and it's nice to see in their faces that they're proud too. Au revoir. The French dance is a simple way to introduce another aspect of French culture. Well, we're going to go through the French dance that we've looked at. So we've got three different tempos or speeds of dance to contend with. It felt quite thrilling at first. Galop. The instructions in French were the basic counting. And they understand because it, I'm only using simple words and they understand polka and galop. Polka. The French dance helps them understand a little bit more about French life but they enjoy it and it's like a PE lesson as well so, and I don't think they really think they're doing French. Well you have to be like steady so like you're you know the beat and you have to remember the moves and I quite liked it, it was really fun. Un, 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 deux, trois. Un. My partner's Kane. Mm, what was good about dancing with him was that well, he wasn't the worst person to dance with, like other people in my class, but he was okay, not too bad at dancing. Once they got past actually holding on to each other, and I'd never known partners so far apart at the beginning, it's just, it's good fun. With, with um, like French dancing, it um, looks as if it all goes in a pattern, so it goes stomp, 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 and then gallop six times. And then you just like um, do um, the polka twice and then back, so you have to have a stable rhythm with your partner to be, in order to do it. I've come from last learning French when I was 16, which is quite a few years ago. When I was told I had to start teaching French again three years ago, uh, panic, not sure what, what I was doing, didn't like the fact I'd be standing in front of a class teaching something I didn't understand. And it's literally been going on training courses, uh, working with a French learning as, uh, language assistant and learning with the children. I feel much more confident. I've got an awful lot to learn um, and it's still very basic and patchy, but I'm getting there. Merci. Merci. Au revoir.